are waiting to go. Should be pretty soon, right? What's the time? Um, now. The time is now. <laughs> no, that's what, that's just what I mean. It's the departure time, and the. <gasps> Love the dramatic music. <laughs> It was very expensive that I wasn't recording that entire time. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I can see you with the reflection. I've not said that before. <gasps> so we have arrived in Amsterdam to a rather, rather fancy hotel. I do say myself. Very if I do, blah, blah, blah. I do say so myself. I am very happy at my deal that I found. There is a Theodore on the bed. But I shall uh, give it a long walk around. These lovely, gorgeous windows that I'm sure will let in a lot of light. Have a lovely vanity. The mirror. Oh, Lord. A kettle. A coffee machine. A tea, coffee, hot chocolate. A mini bar that we will not touch. <laughs> Gorgeous bed. This is the straw. My BiPAP, I supplied. <laughs> Lovely sofa. Lovely fancy bottle of water. And a street bottle. A desk. The UK club socket. Yeah. I still think that really weird. Does that actually? It really does have a UK plug socket. Wait, let me try zooming in. Yeah, it does. That is really weird. Last but not least, a wonderful bathroom. Yeah, they get BBC One. With an accessible sink. And that is amazing, Theo. That means we can wash dog too. Yeah. I was in the middle of explaining the bathroom. Lovely accessible toilet. Eric's had a bit of a lip to get in, which I struggle. A nice accessible shower with a stool and a bath for those that can use baths. But yeah, this is a little bit of a lip to get out, which is risky. Bit scary. And this pillow is, you know, not the best, but it's pretty good. But uh, I am exhausted, so. I am going to have a little nap, I think. I've had about three hours sleep. Just had Netherlands McDonald's. And they have a surprising range of vegetarian options. Isn't that awful? Like, yeah, yeah, like I actually had a McChicken because it was veggie. And I had the festive one that had old Amsterdam cheese. And it was... Rather yummy, I must say. A, you had the normal one, what was it like? I had the honey mustard one, actually. Uh, and it was really good. Like, it was pretty, you know. Yeah, yeah. Why, why can't we have things like this, you know? Right, it's like, like the chick, the fake chicken was actually pretty all right. Like, Yeah, it, it kind of reminded me of corn. It wasn't like... It, it was like, not as good as a corn chicken, no. but like... It's very much aware that it knows what's the flavour profile it should be yeah. going for, the texture. Yeah, and also, they have cake pops without the stick. They look like cake pops, and I shall find out if they taste like cake pops. I can confirm. Cake pop. Giorgio Armani. Hi, I have been wandering around Amsterdam today with my lovely friend and Theo. We have uh, gone to the Lego store and been adventuring and Theo oh, yeah. has come back after abandoning me to go in an inaccessible coffee shop. Even though I couldn't have gone in there anyway because of my lungs, but you know. Um, in fact, just sitting outside it is a bit much my lungs actually. I might move, but then I would be abandoning my friend's wheelchair. So I might just move over a bit. This is my friend that I came to see. I am Hello. trying to be as awkward as possible to make him uncomfortable. Well, I'm autistic anyway, so like, <laughs> you're not gonna make him happy. <laughs> but yeah, that is who I have been adventuring with. I think 
Well, to make it even better, I think we should probably film that. Well, yeah, I did mention more. Okay, Theo. You're in, you're in the shot? No, could you, like, step back a sec? Thank you! <laughs> yeah. That, that's the place that was killing my lungs. <laughs> After our day of adventuring around town, we headed back to the hotel to play some Mario Kart because obviously we brought our switches and have some dinner and just chillax for a bit. Our next day was very, very rainy and cold. So I didn't get to film much of it in the day because we were just running between buildings trying to stay dry. But we went to an awesome museum. And in the evening, we saw all the lovely, beautiful lights. And it did just look magical. It was great. I had such a lovely time despite being covered in rain and probably looking like a right twat. Insert picture here. We then headed back to the hotel to watch the second special episode of Doctor Who for their 60th anniversary. We were greeted by the lovely staff who opened up the accessible door and let me use their very janky lift that makes lots of noises, but it does work, which is great. After Doctor Who, we then headed down to the bar to get some nice cocktails and enjoy the festive spirit. I was clearly very desperate to show you my TARDIS tattoo through my sparkly tights. And to be honest, I think my legs look damn good here with my shoes. Anyway, we had a cute little date night getting our cocktails and it was a really wonderful Christmassy evening. How can you mm -hmm. say Dr. Who's book? Romains for Theo, who loves teas, and apparently they're called Paternoster Mists. Probably said that wrong. I've just realised I didn't actually film anything of us going home because. I was so the sound actually makes me onto the train. And we were one of the You see, we talk the train for us. But on the train home, nearly about the past. We're a little straight off now. As you can see, he was laughing at some of the videos of others. I'm trying to. Or Channel 70, but the green life is in my It's not going very well. It's like a blue signal. And I'm now in a giant tunnel, so I'm not going to say anything. So I'm going to know one. So I need to avoid all spoilers. No social media for me. And I am now back. Well, we are now back. I didn't like lose the oath, but he's back at his. I'm back at my parents. <laughs> Um, yeah, well, that was a really, really fun adventure. We we mainly spent a lot of the day wandering the streets, checking out some of the shops. Not a lot of them were water accessible, so it was a lot of window shopping. But the ones that were water accessible were very nice. We visited the uh, Body Worlds Museum, I think it's called, and saw some sliced up bodies and body parts. It's quite fun pointing out all the bits of my body that weren't working and I know my friend did the same. Although we think there should also be one for disabled bodies where we can see all the weird and wonderful shapes and sizes of unique human bodies. But it was so beautiful at night with all the Christmas lights. Although apparently we missed the proper Christmas lights by a couple of days. Which kind of sucks but that was the only time of the month that we could go unfortunately but the weather was pretty damn chilly although it only rained on one day which is where I was dressed as a rather pink blob although we did make friends with some people that work at Lush in the Starbucks who we gave an idea for a new snow fairy product so 
we were told that if that gets made, their new friends they made in Amsterdam Starbucks would uh, get a mention. <laughs> but yeah, all in all, it was a really nice trip and I managed to get myself a new Starbucks mug. Says Amsterdam, obviously. Thank you so much for watching this vlogmas of travel to Amsterdam. It has been a really fun time and I'm so glad I got to document some of it. Sorry the filming is a bit all over the place, but that's how it goes with me. <laughs> if you liked it, maybe consider giving it a thumbs up or subscribing or whatever positive thing you would like to do. And I shall see you very soon. I need to catch up on the days that I did not open these when we were in Amsterdam. So I shall get my lovely assistant to help me because this big boy, I think, is, is just too big for her need to do while filming. But obviously I will point out what the days are because that's the fun part. Start with day seven. It's a, it's a, hey, it's Captain America shield. When Captain America throws his mighty shield. Copyright. Thor hate. Please. <laughs> oh, it's Lady, oh, Lady McQueen. McQueen. I didn't think they'd include him after, you know, the allegations. Shut up. Uh, number nine. <laughs> the new girls Bye -bye. are both 18. <sighs> Man, oh, I was reading that. Oh. Rose is fitting your hand. Bed and all size your hand. Your turn. <gasps> oh, he's so drinky. It's not just any drinky. <gasps> it's protect, Coco drinky. Protect, attack, snack. Oh.